got some rain during the night y'all serious rain and I don't know that we're done with it yet. I know right now we are, but uh, so it's a uh, it's a wet day, which is fine because I couldn't do anything today anyhow because of uh, Anna Kate graduates uh, college today. So uh, she finishes up. So we've got a lot of stuff going on. Hunter's going to be over here about uh, a little bit before eleven, and uh, we are all going to me and. Emma and Hunter are all going to meet up there at the university where Anna Kate is graduating from. Jill actually works at that university and she runs the graduation as her puppy. Uh, I think she, this is, uh, I think she's around 60 graduations now that Jill has uh, been over since she's been at the university there now today's video is just going to be a talking video update video so if that don't interest you uh I, you know go ahead and click off and and go somewhere else we're going to talk about the the 5500 here and the plans for it and what i got going and we're going to talk about several things we're going to talk about me a little bit and i'm going to kind of fill in the gaps on several things with y'all i uh i think some people have uh already figured things out well i know some people have and then i'm gonna help the people who hadn't figured things out i'm gonna help them and i'm gonna tell what's uh kind of what's going on so first thing ram 5500 sitting right here this truck is unreal it is a hoss if you're not following me on instagram seeing some of the stuff that i do I brought a load home with this thing yesterday that was mind-boggling and it, like, it didn't the truck didn't even know it was behind it back there I had my mini on there which it weighs 12,200 pounds and I had that entire load of that oak that entire pile of that oak right there stacked crossways on the front of that trailer right there and like I said it didn't even act like it was on it in the in the mini was sitting behind it i do have a light bar on top of my mini now uh that's pretty cool so the truck we have a place here in columbus called precision communication and they do i, I think about 40 uh, law enforcement departments and fire and all that stuff with lights it's all the safety stuff and everything like that so i had the truck up there with them and dude that's that's gonna do it is is killer i mean he is he is on it so what we're gonna do is is we're gonna light the front end of this truck here uh we're gonna put and they only fool with whaling stuff too so it's all good quality stuff so i'm not gonna have to worry about it we're gonna light the grill there's gonna be lights there in the grill they've also got lights that they're going to they have set screws in them that actually go right here on the hood and if I remember right, I think it's going to be four across the hood right here. There'll be four in the grill, four across the hood. And I needed this yesterday too bad yesterday with it like that. Then there's going to be uh, one on this side and one on the other side. And then there's going to be two on the back right here. And then this side is going to mimic it too. Be one right here and one right there. And then they're going to light all of my boxes for me too. Every one of my boxes is going to have uh, LED strip lights that are magnetic. And so they're going to stick in the box wherever I want them. And they're going to leave me enough loom to where I can do this right here, which is going to be pretty cool so i'll be able to grab the light this box right here will have two in it i'll be able to grab the light and then stick it right there's what i'll uh what i'll be able to do because the job i did yesterday was on a very very busy road and i'm not going to play on that and then i'm eventually going to put lights on my trailers too so talking about trailers uh, i've got uh dump trailer is ordered it's supposed to be built Toward the end of May, hopefully all that stays that away. There's a lot of uh, extra special stuff that I'm putting on that trailer. It's going to be very slick. I went yesterday and ordered the metal for a fuel tank to build a fuel tank for this truck here. 
so maybe I'll have the metal in uh, this coming week. So that's in the works also. It's a lot going on in my world right now. Um, I am working on trying to get a chipper right now too. And uh, I, I've been talking to quite a few people uh, about, about chippers and things like that. You know, kind of thought maybe I wanted a Vermeer, and uh, the way Vermeer works is is they they have their territory, so you have to buy from a dealer that's in your territory. And uh, mine happens to be in Jackson, Mississippi, which is about 160 miles from me. And I uh, uh, I've, so I, t I also I talked to. Uh, dug in a little bit on the more barks and all that and the more barks are out a good little ways a lot of stuff's out a good little ways hard to get stuff right now more bark is out like till uh november of uh, of this year and so uh the you know this i decided i would just ask some of my tree guys one thing about it i have become friends with several arborist uh, tree guys that are huge in other parts of the United States and talk to them, communicate with them. I think some of that came through when I did the climbing competition over there in uh, Georgia when I was over there at it. And then playing with the steel chainsaws has kind of got me in the, the where I've, I've become friends with some arborists. And I think some guys in the arborist community may have thought that, you know, that since I was a logger or something that, you know, that I may not talk to him or anything, but, you know, I welcome, you know, all people, you know, in, even in the arborist community, uh, because the, uh, the, the tree care guys are, are, that's a pretty cool family actually. And, uh, very neat, um, the way that they do things and the way that a lot of them operate and things like that. And one of the biggest things about the Arbor's family is, is how helpful everybody is to one another and eager to help uh, people, other people learn. And that's been, uh, that's been a huge benefit for me. So what I did was, is uh, I reached out to several of them that's got, uh, one of them's got, gosh, he's got, uh, over a dozen chippers, you know, and so, uh, talking to them and each one of them told me pretty much basically the same thing. And, and it, and this was it right here. They said that, uh, Bandit was at the top of the food chain and then, uh, more bark and then, uh, Vermeer. And so, uh, you know, I kind of took that and when, you know, when you have several people kind of almost say almost basically the same thing and tell you the each, each things, uh, you know, it makes you kind of take a step back and kind of look at things. But what I'm after, I'm after a 18 or 19 inch capacity chipper. So I'm not playing. I mean, I'm going to buy a, a good size chipper for, you know, tree care because I want to be able to, you know, roll. I mean, just crank that thing up put the fuel to it and let that thing eat. And uh, of course I'll be feeding it with my mini excavator and stuff like that. So that's kind of where I'm at on that. It may take a while for me to, for me to, I may have to wait a little while on one of those too, because like I said, lead times are, are pretty substantial on some of them right now. Uh, the mirror does have some units uh, here, there and yonder, you know, and things like that. Which brings me to the next thing that we're going to talk about. Uh, it's me and my future. Uh, so I've worked for my dad for 37 years for TDK Logging. TDK is actually named after me and my brothers. I'm the oldest of the brothers, Tim. Uh, Kevin is the middle and Derek is the baby of us. And it sounded better to call it TDK rather than TKD. And so that's where that came from. And uh, I love my dad. Uh, no ill will toward my dad or, or anything like that. My dad's a very unique guy. Uh, he didn't he didn't come up as a logger or nothing like that. He worked at a plant here in Columbus making wallpaper and vinyl 
for 33 years and he side hustled messing with the logging a little bit and i have pretty much just about been there since he started messing with it he started messing with it back in the 70s i was a little bit too young early 80s then i came around and and uh was in the woods you know helping nothing like we are right now it was just you know not even a load a day or anything like that we really didn't grow till i graduated high school in in 1990 and and then and then you know we started growing a little bit and then uh kevin and Derek got out of school so i've worked in the woods four years longer than kevin has and eight years longer than Derek. and then my sister works far as too uh, she works at the office so i've got 14 years on her i'm 10 years older than she is and then she went to four years of college and uh you know uh, i always thought that something you know one day that that it would evolve to end up where kevin Derek, and i you know it would um you know we would be made partners or you know whatever in the company and uh you know you sit there and you work day in and day out and uh and you know one thing leads to another and you turn around and 30 years has passed and you know not once in those all those years has dad ever made an offer for kevin Derek or i to be part of it or even buy into it and uh talk to him you know you ask well have you talked to him about it? yeah we've we we've all talked to him about it and everything but it's uh it's always an excuse and let me say again you know i love my dad there's no ill will toward it my dad's just a unique guy you know and uh so uh you know you just you wonder well what's the future gonna be and uh and everything because uh before doing what i do now uh i never always hustled something but I was not able to really capitalize on it like I have in the last few years. And the way that I've been able to capitalize on it in the last few years is YouTube. I'm not going to lie, YouTube. And uh, YouTube has afforded me to be able to get the equipment that I need to pursue what I ultimately want to do. And... Uh, so does that mean that, that some some people are watching this and are thinking, well, I'm going to start a YouTube channel and I'm going to make thousands of dollars or anything like that. It don't work like that. And I can't help you do that either. It's all on your shoulders to make that happen. And it's a very, very tough deal to capitalize on that and to make money flow there to where you can do what what i do or what let's dig does or what west does or anything like that but so youtube has allowed me to be able to do that and be able to get the equipment the mini excavator this truck you know the dump trailer all that stuff like that and enroll in the fashion that that i do tree takedown work back a long time ago but i use the company's equipment their the company the dad's backhoe i used it a lot and uh and that kind of got frail i could tell i didn't you know i could tell it wasn't cool you know what i mean and so but i couldn't afford to get one myself and uh so i just kind of i just kind of left it alone and then all of a sudden here i am you know doing this stuff and i can i can you know i've been able to do it i've had the mini now for over two years and i and i set myself up when i buy stuff i buy stuff that's multi-purpose i buy the best stuff that i can possibly buy that's like the grapple the rotabet grapple on the mini uh a bucket and a thumb is not going to touch what that machine will do uh tree work wise clean up wise i'm literally doing the work of five guys with that one machine and it's just it's insane what I can do with that machine and, and make happen with it. And that's what I've done with each thing I bought. This truck here, the dump trailer that I got coming, the dump trailer that I got coming is going to be the baddest 
of the bad you'll you'll never see anything like what i've got or what i've got coming on that it's going to be cool as heck and then once i get it i'm going to adapt some more stuff to it that's going to be super cool so go back to the logging company you know uh i went to dad here uh it's been a while back then and i told him i said uh i said dad well let me back up a little bit further uh back in uh december 2020 <laughs> dad told me that the logging company was his it was always going to be his and i could like it or not and i understand that i truly understand that that is is he is i get that is he is you know he's 75 i mean had cancer um nothing's in place so in the event that something happens to dad what's going to happen to the company who knows but i'm not going to be unprepared in the event that that happens i hope that don't happen but i'm not gonna be unprepared boy scouts motto i never was a boy scout their main motto is be prepared and uh, that's what i do me and jill are in a lot different situation uh, like i said earlier in the video i have always hustled big time on stuff uh, i uh, did a lot of tree takedown work back in the day um did that was a photographer for years doing used to shoot weddings out the wazoo weddings seniors family portraits stuff like that right before the digital stuff came along i i stepped away from that and got out of that and and moved on sold all my film stuff i shot medium format stuff i didn't shoot 35 millimeter i shot hasselblad you know great big negative stuff is what i shot and so i got out of that ended up getting in the cow business for a good little while and the cows you just you got to have a lot of cows to make money i made money on it but the hassle factor and the amount of work that went into it oh my god it was it's ridiculous and then so then i started fiddling with the youtube thing and, and got it to grow in and got it to do what it's doing and got to what the brand cotton top three is work with a bunch of different companies and and things like that and hey let me tell you something about working with companies that's not all bread and butter right there either that's uh you'll do the most work you can ever do and i'm to the point now to where you know working with companies and stuff you know i mean it really does not matter to me i'm not worried about that i you know i'd rather just go and buy something outright and be done with it and then I, that way you know, I'm not sweating trying to make sales for them, you know, per se and things like that. So that kind of thinking about it like that and kind of evolving toward that is kind of taking a lot of weight off my shoulders. I think a lot of people get caught up into that and a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people see me getting the saws and things like that. And, and, it, and there's times where it's just not absolutely worth it. But anyhow, going back to dad you know when he when dad says that you know i mean what do you do uh i'm not gonna sit here and get caught with my pants down uh jill and i are are sitting well uh we have both worked hard and been very frugal over the years and sacrificed like crazy early on to where it would pay off now for us and uh <clears throat> so i'm transitioning to doing more tree work I don't work full weeks in the woods no more for dad. You ask, well, who's running the loader for you? Well, dad is. And, you know, again, it's dad's company. You know, he, he can get the loader. You know, he can figure something out along those lines. And I'm going to cut back even more to working in the woods. I don't really want to work walk away from it you know per se completely but y'all our machines most all of them have got over 20,000 hours on them now and we work on those machines a lot and there's no profit margin in logging and the problem with us is is there's so many of us involved in it. i mean you got me kevin derek dad and my sister and it doesn't matter if you're General Motors, if you're Ford, if you're Husqvarna, if you're Steel. 
it doesn't matter how big you are, if you've only got X number of dollars coming in, those X number of dollars can only support so many people. And logging has gotten so bad that in 2018, uh, Kevin, Derek, and I had to t each had to take a $10,000 a year uh, uh, pay cut to you know to keep the company going, and we hadn't got that back. And and I'm not going to take another pay cut like that or or nothing like that. And and I mean it, and so you know. Um, I told Dad when I told him that I wasn't going to work no more four weeks. You know, I told him, you know, I could tell it hurt him emotionally. And, uh, and I could tell he, he wasn't, he wasn't mad, but I could tell he could, you know, it was affecting him. But I told him, I said, you know, I said, you can't be mad at me, Dad. And I said, I've given you 37 years to help you build this and uh and i said you can't ask for anything more than that you know and so and and that's a fact you know how many places do people end up staying 10 years or even 20 25 30 Upwards of 40 or 40 or more. When you get higher, that percentage drops way, way, way down, way down. And so uh, I like doing the tree work. I like running my mini excavator. And I'm good at the tree work. I'm good at precision falling trees. I want to help other people get to where they can precision fall trees. That's where the uh, classes come in. Saw classes come in. I don't want to be a trainer, but I do want to help train people to get there and get them on the right road to be able to get there. And um, the saw classes have been a big benefit for me. And uh, and they'll start. I've been asked a lot. I got a lot of messages about saw classes. They will start back up in the fall, October, November, and then again January and February, and may do one early March or something like that. But uh, like I said, I don't want to necessarily be a trainer, but I do want to help people uh, get there. And I'll post those dates later on in a uh, in a in another video. But uh, I just wanted to come on here and explain some stuff. There are a lot of people who have figured out exactly what I'm doing. They watch the videos, they're observant enough to to understand it and get it and all that. And I have full support of Jill. That's not a problem. Jill has always supported me in what I do and, uh, and been there uh, for me because the things that I do, I don't do them lighthearted. If I can't do something 100%, I'm not gonna do it. I don't do nothing halfway. I'm a perfectionist and I expect nothing less than that out of myself. And, uh, and you know, I like to work. My kids, Anna Kate graduates today, like I said earlier, and uh, Emma's a senior, so Jill and I, you know, we're not far from, uh, both of them uh, being gone and, and starting their own families and things like that. And that's pretty dang cool. And, uh, you know, and I do a lot of stuff with them and, and all. And, and so the, the life that I live is a uh, very complicated life. And, uh, but it's a good life, you know. And then I share things back with y'all. And so uh, if you've hung in there through this entire video i commend you for for that but uh and i'll be fine i don't have to work i'm gonna hang on let's stop this real quick so i don't have to i don't have to hammer it anymore you know what i mean and and, and that's kind of the way that i work toward uh toward doing it they're getting to where i'm at and uh and so you know i'm just going keep going uh like i am here and if it if i do end up completely away from logging 
you know, so be it. Because ultimately, I'll be happy. You know, and that's what I'm after doing. Y'all, let me tell you something. Life is short. You think 80 years or 70 years is a long time. It's actually not. The good Lord looks at 80 years like a bolt of lightning that quick. And that's how life is. Life is that quick. None of us are promised tomorrow. From the time you are born, you start the death process. It's no different than a deck of cards, a hand of cards in a, in a card game. Some people are dealt good hands, stay in the game the whole game. Some people are not dealt such a good hand, and they don't make it the whole game. They're out pretty quick by way of an automobile accident, health problems, whatever. We're all dealt a different hand of cards. It all boils down to the person that you are, who you are. I say it all the time in my videos, you only get what you give. And that's a fact. Um, you know, so uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm on a different path and have been for a while now. And I've just been waiting to kind of to share uh, everything uh, with y'all. But there again, like I said, don't worry about me. Don't worry about Jill, because I don't. I don't do nothing going into debt. That's everything. Everything's paid for. The the house, all of our property here. This truck behind me. I actually got title. It came in yesterday on this truck right here. Uh, and when I get the dump trailer, I'll write a check for it. Uh, when I get a chipper, I probably will finance some of that, some of it. But, um, you know, and I have a guy here, and I'm going to kind of close with this. I have a guy here. His name is Greg Grondon, and I don't know him, but he comments on my videos, and he makes kind of a, I know he's kind of being funny, maybe a little bit smart, snide sometimes. And he makes a comment often in my videos and and it does kind of piss me off when he says this you know he says uh he said you may have a lot of problems tim but money ain't one of them well if greg only knew what i did to make things happen to be able to do what i do what y'all see in a video form, those 10 or 15 minutes that y'all watch a video, is just a snippet, a small, it's like a lightning streak, what I was talking about a while ago, is a small snippet. Just a screenshot of the giant picture of what everything is. You have no clue. I don't care the biggest, most successful, business guy out there Sam Walton any anybody like that uh, Steve Jobs anybody let me tell you something they did not get there at the snap of the finger and without working their ever living buttholes off and you know, that's just that. A lot of people see things and they think, well, he's got it made. He don't do, you know, he don't do much or anything like that. Dude, if you want it, you got to work for it. You got to work harder than anybody else around you to be able to get it and to be successful. And that's just a, you know, that's just a fact. And you, you just got to... You gotta have a desire, you know, a desire. And you gotta be willing to go further than anybody else will to uh, to make it happen. So I'm gonna put this video together and 
get it published and uh, uh, and I'm about to do the weather's getting is weather's pretty nice around here now and I'm gonna do a hundred thousand subscriber giveaway for somebody to come here and hang out with me one weekend and uh, so be watching for that here coming up I'm gonna do it here in the next uh, next day or so there and and see you know you'll you'll get the details and in that video right there but uh so uh the youtube deal has been kind of interesting to me i've got friends now that i never thought i would ever have all the way around the world and and stuff and share share my daily life there's really to be honest with you i mean and there's really nothing that that you can't watch in these videos that you can't find out about me you know and uh so Appreciate all y'all tuning in if you stay here for the whole thing. Uh, and whew, a lot to this video, a lot of information. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.